Welcome to my channel, The Kingly Way. My name is King, and today, guess where I got? I didn't go. I wanted to say guess where I went, but I didn't go anywhere. I got Boston Market. Yeah, Boston Market. I. Yeah, it's usually costly to eat at Boston Market, so I don't often go, but I do like Boston Market. But inside this bag, I got a cornbread. Yeah, that's just a normal thing to get, cornbread. And I ordered me a carrot cake. Yeah, I don't see the carrot on there, but oh well. And... I got me a half barbecue chicken and the two sides I came with it is spinach creamy sauce which is right there and they gave me like a pumpkin casserole sauce there so yeah and barbecue and I even have barbecue here too to pour over I don't know if I'm gonna need it so we'll see so yes and again, I got delivery. And guess which delivery service I used? I used DoorDash. So right now, delivery is free. If you're a new DoorDash subscriber, you get 30 days free for delivery. And below my link, yes, you can click on DoorDash, DoorDash, or Postmates. So sometimes I use Postmates. So, as I said in my last video, my last video about was about travel restrictions to South Korea. So, yeah, I have about a month away before I head out to the land of the morning calm. So, without further ado, I'm going to start eating and I'm going to talk about what's going around with this lockdown or this, you know, stay at home policy. So, but first I'm going to try some of this. Let's see, here's like the pumpkin casserole. Ooh. Mmm. It's very good. Wow. I'm glad I ordered that. Now, I must have the green spinach. I always love the creamy spinach, too. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's so nice to have this stuff. It's been a while. Now I'm gonna get my hands a little dirty here. So I turn, yep, so I got me a leg with the barbecue um, rotisserie chicken here. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. Now I see why they gave me the barbecue sauce because it doesn't have the barbecue taste, so I'll just dip it in there so I don't make a big mess. You know? Now, this Boston Market bag is my doggy bag for the bones and for any trash that I gotta put in there. So when my hands get dirty. Oh, and a bunch of H2Os. Yep, because here's the thing in Los Angeles, it's very warm. It was like about 88 or 90 degrees today. But I love it. I miss that warm weather, you know. I get less sick in warm weather. That's why I like being in countries like Thailand, the Philippines, you know. Countries with more tropical weather now. At first, I used to really like cold, cold, cold weather. But man, I just keep getting sick in it half the time, you know. Especially like in Korea. Man, I freeze and I die. And yeah, and at first I loved it because I always loved cold weather because I'm always in hot weather and I sweat all over the place but now I'm just like I got now more used to the tropical weather so I prefer it to be more warm than cold so yeah so here we go and then usually I wear like dry fit shirts a lot so it doesn't affect me as much so yeah mm. alright I'm gonna dip some into the barbecue sauce here Mm. Mm. I see why they gave us the barbecue sauce. They give us some enhanced. 
enhanced flavor there. Yeah, and I love the cornbread and I will eat the dessert too at the end of this. Oh yeah, creamies. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm happy with the size. Hmm. Pumpkin potato. Ah, not bad. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna eat some more. I'm gonna dip more chicken in here. Kind of remind me of that good Philippines rotisserie chicken. Kind of like the ones you can get at Landers too. Yep, if any don't know what Landers is, it's like a Costco, but it's based in the Philippines and they have them in Manila and Cebu and a few other places. But it's mostly, yeah, there's one major one in Cebu that I like to go to. So my membership is good to uh, this, like the end of this month of June. But, well, I, I did try to maximize that membership. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to get a new membership when I return to the Philippines. I don't know when that will be. Because there's all kinds of things going around around the world which I hope I don't have to explain what's going on. We all know already what's going on. So yeah. Oh yes. Hmm. Ah. All right, here's some more chicken. All right, then I'm gonna go Filipino style. Use our hands. Mm. Plus, I got wet wipes all over the place. Or could have got the plastic bath over my hands. Mm. That's how we eat, like the Monuk Lachon, you know? The pig, the pork. Oh, yeah. I've been having fun kind of researching things about how to do YouTube. So still got a lot to learn. So having a lot of fun with it. Hmm. Let's try some of this cornbread. Hmm, right. Usually I put butter, but I'll just kind of mix it up with I eat these together. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am weird. <laughs> Another thing is I usually eat a lot of these meals within 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. So it's about 3 p.m. This is my second meal. So just for, you know, the audience, for YouTube, I'm actually eating my second meal early. That means I don't need to eat till 12 tomorrow. Yeah. So I usually eat. Yeah. So I do 16 hour fast, eight hours, you know, eat. That's my eating time. And then I do my 100 push ups a day. Then some other exercises. Yep. Yeah. Yep, it's a little crazy hard these days. Hmm. Hmm. Not my big jug of water. A lot of H2O. Yep. Tons of water. That's how I stay hydrated. Yeah. 
I've got to get out because I have a $50 gift card for Starbucks. So I got to go use it. <laughs> Try to eat as much of this as I can. Huh? Mm. Into the doggy bag it huh? Still got one piece left here. Need some more creamy spinach. Ooh, the pumpkin is pretty good. Mm. Yep, staying safe with the wet wipes, everything. Keep myself clean. Not much to do, but you know, just stay at home, be safe. Yeah, I can't wait to fly out of here in a month. Look forward to it. Just hope I don't get screwed over in Korea and say, no, you can't come in. Even if, you know, the United States government says, yep, yeah, travel advisory to level four. Yeah, now, of course, countries like Philippines, you're not getting in. They have like the major cities, Manila, Cebu, Luzon. They are still kind of like on a quarantine lockdown till May 15th. Now, other smaller cities I visited, like possibly Cagayan de Oro or Dumaguete, they might open things up just a little bit. And then I heard that maybe Vietnam might start opening up shop. And then today, some of the states are open up here in the U.S., but don't know yet. We'll see. But I know for Los Angeles, May 15th, and then Mayor Garcetti talked about no sporting events till 2021. So that's going to suck. But it has to be done, apparently. So, yeah. By the way, I can't wait for my new Dodger uh, face mask to get here. Yeah, it's not, of course, it's not an N95, but hopefully they're made big enough for guys like me with big heads here. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll have like a Dodger mask. same price as the, huh, what is it, the regular dark uh, rotisserie chicken. Hmm. Ah, finishing up the green, green spinach.
I'm on the West Coast time. Wake up at, uh, let's see, 3.30 in the morning. Teach a couple classes online. And he was still going. <laughs> so I was able to catch like the front end of his live stream and then catch the back end of his live stream. Well, I tried to like, you know, he, it, of course I had trouble sleeping, so I was watching his live stream. Cause you know, this guy, uh, his channel is Live My Ass Off. His name is Mike. So he lives in Bangkok, Thailand. So I'm kind of familiar with where he goes. Cause I was like looking at, you know, where he took a walk out. So I'm like, oh, that looks familiar to me. <laughs> Cause you know, I lived in Bangkok for a couple months. Yeah, so yeah, I lived more towards uh, the Bangna area, which is the suburbs of Bangkok, you know, not in because it's much cheaper to be like in the outer part of Bangkok. So I lived right at the end where the BTS was barely built and they're still building more stations. I think more stations are open. Or if you live on the other side of Bangkok, like, you know, where Ari, which is like a, 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 more like an arts place, an arts, artsy type architecture. So you live out in those, it's a little more cheaper. But if you try to live in the main hub of where the MRT subway and the Asok BTS, that's like the main hub of downtown Bangkok. Sometimes you don't really want to be there or it's called Sukhumvit. So you don't really want to uh, be there because if you try to live in that area, the condos and everything are just way expensive. So it's better to just be off, you know. And then, you know, Bangkok's not really a place where you stay up super, super late at night. I mean, kind of is, kind of not. It's not like Korea where it never sleeps. You could just party and go to a bar till six, seven in the morning and then hit the subway and go home. So yeah. So yeah, I, I, one time I stayed over, <clears throat> over because I missed the BTS train. So I decided to just go to a what is it? Uh, either I don't know if it's Tom and Tom, Holly's Holly's Coffee, and I did some of my videos from there. And I just stayed there till like five, six in the morning. Took the BTS back home to Bangna and got off and went to my Airbnb. Went to sleep for the for six hours in the morning and then went back out. <laughs> And another thing is I pretty much, yeah, just went, slept, got on the uh, BTS and took off to, you know, rode the rabbit. <laughs> so I lived kind of far away. Yeah, I would prefer to kind of live more close to downtown, but it's just a little expensive. Hmm. Now I'm down to the cake. This one starting to melt a little. Hmm, still taste that's yeah, still chilled. Oh yeah, nice little dessert here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. places. Mm -hmm. So 
so as more as I grow this channel or go into a Bebo <laughs> or Bego start live streaming there too just talk about whatever Should I make it more like a Seinfeld? It's a sh it's a sh it's a live stream about nothing. <laughs> My live stream's about nothing. Oh, politics? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Sometimes the word nothing means more. Like Seinfeld. That show was about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my buddy used to torture me. He used to act like all those characters in Seinfeld. I know Seinfeld's Jewish and stuff, and my buddy was Jewish, but man, yeah, he would act like Kramer half the time. Huh? Yeah. So what I did is I, since I had uh, direct TV and I had East Coast, West Coast, I was able to watch the season finale or their final episode at 5 o'clock and I was torching them. I was giving them a spoiler alert. Hey, this happened. That happened. He's like, you asshole. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then there's good old friends. Every time I stick on that shelf, you got a theme song. Yeah. I believe my girlfriend likes that show. She loves Big Bang Theory. You know, Penny, Penny, Penny. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. <laughs> no, I'm not good. I do like that show. And of course, Sheldon's a girlfriend, Amy, or not married in the show. Yeah, I remember I used to watch her in that show, Blossom. <laughs> yeah, good old Blossom. Yeah, that show got kind of crazy. But it was fun to watch. And of course, Jory Lawrence. Whoa! And then he's on a new. Sh he was on a new show, Joey and Melissa. Yeah, I might just do maybe Beagle and talk about nothing. Hmm. So yeah. Alright, so one more time. Yep, DoorDash. Oh, I forgot. I spent about $20, a thousand pesos, including tax and delivery and driver's tip. So yeah, DoorDash. If you don't have a DoorDash account, DoorDash. Alright, if any of you enjoyed any of this, please hit that like and subscribe to my so not awesome channel and you know what if you have time on your hands hit the stupid bell icon and then yeah my youtube channel that talks about nothing will show up on your alerts and then you can tune in and watch me talk about nothing <laughs> all right so stay safe and i will see you later